Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 26th January, we'll talk about uh, Christ being preached. Uh, Philippians 1.18, Paul says, In every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached. Paul wrote this letter during his first Roman imprisonment. He told the Philippians that his imprisonment did not slow down the spread of the gospel, but instead has given him new opportunities for witnessing among the elite of the Roman army. He was able to stimulate others to preach boldly. So he is asking his disciples not to be discouraged, but instead be happy. Paul was converted by God himself and was assigned a job of preaching the gospel among Gentiles, kings and other uh, Jewish leaders. Wherever he went, his purpose was to preach Christ in any manner that was available to him. When he was put in jail in Philippi, he, along with Silas, prayed and sang hymns praising God. This brought in an earthquake and all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. This we see in Acts 16, 26. When the keeper of the prison saw the greatness of God, he accepted Jesus as his personal savior. When Paul preached Christ among the Gentile philosophers in Athens, Paul was able to convince them that the God about whom he is preaching is the same creator about whom their own poets have written. Some of them accepted Jesus Christ. Jesus has given all the Christian believers a command that we have to go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. This we see his, as his last command to us before he ascended to heaven. This we see in Mark 16, 15 and also in Matthew 28. Paul says that we have to preach, the Christ, preach Christ in every way that is possible. We have to find ways according to the surrounding circumstances and opportunities which come in our path. We have to reach the unreached since Jesus' second coming is fast approaching and everyone should be prepared or, or else they'll go to hell. As we are living in a society where most of the people are idol worshippers, we should introduce the Redeemer in a very tactful way without offending them. Most of them are very good, pious people who do not know the truth. They are still seeking the truth. Preaching Christ is the only way in which we can love them. Remember, Christ's command that you should love your neighbor as yourself. This is a good way of revealing our love or uh, uh, showing our love towards people who are being condemned, who will never re reach Christ. Please pray for all of them and uh, try to bring the gospel to all of them. Uh, let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us that we should reach the unreached in any way that is given to us. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.